Lieutenant. Crew's wiped out. Checking for identification. Seem to be chasing the same bit of fluff, what? Oh, uh, Major Cole Hughes, British Commandos. Oh, Lieutenant Hanley, United States Army, this is Private Kirby. <sighs> Wing nuts on the camera base frozen fast, eh? This was gonna put a fire under it. You wouldn't have a cigarette, would you? It's an ice age that they had one of yours. Yes, sir. Thanks, dear boy. No pity, Japs. All of it. Come on, break it free. Chop, chop. Up. Thanks. Crowd armor coming, Lieutenant. We gotta get out of here, Lieutenant. Shout, Lieutenant. I'll take it back. You cover us, right? Hold it. Major. Yes? Lieutenant? We were sent here to bring this back by our people. And we got here first. And we're leaving first. Simple fact is, you see, we are more valuable. Here they are. Bunch of chairs. Come on. Combat. Starring Rick Jason. Vic Morrow. Guest star, Michael Evans.
give him 10 cents for our chances. Bad? No, sir. That's crummy, Commandos. Do you hear what that Major said? We're more valuable than you are. Looks like we're not gonna let him get away with it, are we? What do you think? Let's get close enough in the radio back while we're still in the sector. Paulson, take up the rear. down to the aid station. I'm going up to company see Captain Jampel. Yes. Perfect. I see the lieutenant. Hello. I was keeping an eye out for you chaps. Almost missed you. I don't understand why you'd take the trouble, Major. I simply had to. After Captain Jampel filled me in on your radio call. He told me how you wiped out all those Jerry's. Absolutely wizard. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse us, we'll toddle on down to see Captain Jampel about the latest Allied agreements. I, for one, would like to know the current value of a GI in this man's war. I can save you a long walk, Lieutenant. Here, for you, from the very same Captain Jampel. to see a movie. Well, should we dress, sir, or just come like we are? On this way, chaps. Whenever you're ready, Layton. How do you like our little film, Lieutenant? I think it's a bird's eye view of nothing. I'm very well put, old boy. And that's what you risked our silly lives for this morning. Who risked whose silly lives, Major? For worthless film. We'll just have to go back into enemy territory and try again. We? Mm, I requested you for the mission. Your company commander checked with regiment and your colonel approves. Splendid chap, that. Believes heartily in allied cooperation, all that sort of thing. Signed by the Colonel himself. Well, this is not an order, Major. This is just a request of volunteer. Oh, of course, of course. It sounds better that way. Well, not me, sir. However, it's nice to be wanted. Let's go, Kirby. Well, at least want you to wait for the feature. I don't even like your cartoons. I'll run it for the gentleman, Leighton. This is the real thing. Latest on V2 bombings. Just flown in from London. The whole city ablaze. Over 50 square miles of chaos.
Look at those devils, making London into a slag heap. Bombing civilians, day and night. This very minute, most likely. While we are snugged up here in cosy billets. Not enough men in the fire brigade. Not enough machines. Not enough water. Night after night, this is going on, this horror. Another few months of this, and nothing will be left. Hospitals are overcrowded. People lie buried under those ruins for days on end. Even children. Look, Lieutenant. Look at those poor little devils. Thank you, Lieutenant. We've quite put a stop to that, chaps. We must find those V2 sites and destroy them. That's the mission I requested you and Private Kirby for. Why us? Because two of my best were killed on the way to that wrecked plane this morning. I have no time for a placement through channels. You weren't killed, due to your quick thinking. And blind luck. Luck is a lady I like in my garden, Lieutenant. I need you rather desperately. More women and children will lie dead or mangled unless we in this room help them. You don't have to like me, Lieutenant. Just do a job with me. That's all I ask. When do we leave? Smashing. I'll pick you up at 1,500 hours tomorrow. Now, Major, you don't have to like me either. Kirby, this is a request from upstairs for us to volunteer. It's not an order. You don't have to go. Yes, sir. I think I'd better string along with you. You're going to need somebody on your side. <laughs> Jolly good water. <laughs> it must be the tenth time you look at the sun, Lieutenant. Afraid we're lost? Look, Major, we've been heading dead east for hours. Now, the B-2 site has got to be up that way north toward the sea. Yes, of course. Well, do you mind my asking what our destination is? Well, that depends what Wilson's found out. But you can bet your last shilling he's found out whatever there is to learn. Dependable type, Wilson. Never failed yet. Wilson? Who's Wilson? What? What's our plan? Oh, sorry, old boy. That'd be breaking old Bertie's number one rule. You see, if only the ranking officer knows the plan, then the enemy would have a perfectly horrible time finding it out if we're captured. Uh, sensible word. <laughs> I remember old Bertie running up at you broke that rule. Well, that was in the African campaign, when they were chasing Rommel. Old Bertie? What? Huh? Oh, yes, old Bertie, one of the old desert sweats. Helped get this commander thing started. Wrote a lot of book himself. I think Leighton spotted something. Good spot. They certainly have. Shall we try Knightsbridge, Layton? I think Knightsbridge will just about do it. I'll do it then. Yes, I know. What is Knightsbridge? 
where it's a little jolly devised by old Bertie, made to order for a situation like this. In brief, Lieutenant, I'm giving you and Private Kirby the opportunity of stealing up on those jerrys and... Uh, Yes, sir. Yeah. That's what they say we ought to always look for, is opportunity. A Major, I assume you're going to keep this an Allied operation. No, yes, indeed. Achtung! Splendid, Leighton. You look remotely authentic. At ease. I'm Leighton there. Uh, remember to keep at a proper angle behind me so that Jerry's won't spot your stem gun. Very good, sir. And uh, keep the magazine down. I'll show you now how to handle your part, Lieutenant. See you, sir. I don't believe it. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! An English officer. Don't shoot! I know my rights! Kommt mir so vor. Der muss den Stamm, wo sie den gefunden haben. Walde bestimmt nicht. I demand to see the ranking officer immediately. I know my rights. Wir scheinen ganz fertig zu sein. Ein English Major. Nein, ich habe einen großen Mund. I demand to see the ranking officer immediately. I know my rights. I demand to speak to the ranking officer immediately. Now let's join Wilson and have a cup of tea, huh? Who's this Wilson? Big secret. Wilson, sir. Put the billy on. That'll fetch him. Wilson never misses his tea. Afraid Wilson's a bit off schedule. Oh, yes, now I can tell you. He's one of mine. I stationed him here yesterday to see what he could find out. And what are we supposed to do? Wait for him? Well, two of us will. Two of us will go and hurry him up. Well, first we all have a cup of tea. Is it fighting, Leighton? Oh, uh, just about, sir. Where's the tea? It's uh, in a canister. Oh, yes. I'm going to make you the best cup of tea you've had in your life, Lieutenant. I'm sure the Germans would love to join the party after they see the smoke. <laughs> oh, a little bit of comfort's worth the risk, don't you think? You want to let a trifle like a war destroy the cherished customs? Well, Leighton. Yes, sir. I want you and Private Kirby to walk east and look for Wilson. If he's running this unpretty girl, 
Remind him there's a war on. Very good, sir. Doctor, can I have a spot for you, go, baby? Oh, uh, no, thank you, sir. I never touch it this early in the day. By Jove, you have a sense of humor, Kirby. <laughs> Here, try a little of this. Oh, th th thank you, sir. Hey. <laughs> Major, the next war that comes along, I think I'd like getting your outfit, okay? <laughs> On your way, chap. Oh, Layton. Sir? If Wilson has found himself a pretty girl, bring her back, too. I expect you'd prefer this letter, and uh, thank you. Family crest, Major? Yes, uh, uh, something like that. I belong to old Bertie. He's a filthy girl, believe it or not. No woman, huh? Yeah. Has a right to sit in the House of Lords. Because he was born in the proper family. You admire him, don't you? Mm. I did. He's dead. As good as. His heritage, so they taught him at school, was to fight and die for England whenever the need arose. He's one of the last men to leave Dunkirk, helped chase Rommel out of Africa, Led 300 men ashore on D-Day. Finally, in Normandy, the hot white light went out. He couldn't turn it on anymore. That's not seen it happen. Good men. And they start looking over their shoulders too often. But for the old man with the scythe? Oh, no. No, but he's cozy with him. Very cozy. In fact, he's welcomed him any time. And why? And why did the light go out? The same reason that you too may one day harbor a death wish. He sent too many of his own men to their death. Brave, decent fellows like... like your Kirby and my Leighton. <laughs> I say, Lieutenant, we are getting a bit morbid, aren't we? Tell me about American girls. Do they really spend all their time with the dentist? They have such divine teeth. <laughs> Sir. 
We'll do it, Willie. Aye. We will, sir. Luck with rainbows. To yourself. Luck with rainbows, Willie. Got time, sir, for a quiet moment. No, we have less than two hours to penetrate five miles of closely guarded country. Move out right away. Telling your mind, Lieutenant? You had time for a tea, Major. But none for epitaphs. You feel sorry for Wilson, Lieutenant. I can tell you. He's the lucky one. Okay, chaps. Let's play a bit. soon. Meanwhile, briefing. Now, we don't know the location of the B2 sites, but the French underground has informed intelligence that rocket fuel in drum is delivered to them by convoy. Our job is to see that one of the lorries carries a piece of cargo not on the manifest. Gentlemen, these are horrors. Our fireflies. Inside, flaming explosive. Outside, plastic. The plastic dissolves in rocket fuel. Hanley, you and I will scramble aboard the last lorry in the line and plant this firefly in one of the drums of rocket fuel. How long before it blows? Two hours. By which time I'm confident the convoy would have arrived at the rocket site. Result, a fire that would have made old Nero happy. To make a beacon for our planes. Huh? Exactly, Lieutenant. A baleful beacon. Our bombs will be circling over the channel waiting. When they see the fire, they'll bore in and blow the rocket side past the moon. Another gambit of old Bertie's. Precisely. He used it once before. A German fuel dump near Bezerta. Truck's coming, Major. Convoy. Splendid. Oh, German spanner. Runs through the top of the petrol drum. Your job. Yes, sir. Layton? Sir? You better come along too as a diversion. In case the driver of our lorry decides to stick too close to his vehicle. Kirby? You can relax here in a box seat. If we do slip up, don't do anything heroic. You neither, Layton. What do you mean, just leave you two down here to get fried flat? <laughs> well, if things do go so, uh, you couldn't do any good against so many. Now you head for home. Tell the Commander-in-Chief it was splendid. We didn't see the banana peel. Let's go. <laughs> we got a hand it to him. 
If somebody's gonna stick his neck out, he makes sure it's him. Yeah. Ich bin nicht müde. Ich war eine lange Fahrerei heute. Ja. geworden hier zu rauchen. Und uns alle in die Luft sprengen? Nein, Herr Leutnant. Wir sind sofort zum Wagen zurück. Jawohl, Leutnant.
those drums in our front third board. Wechsel den Reifen. Lade die Tonne auf und bohrt der Kolonne nach. Too late, you ruddy swine. Too late. The officer told the truck driver to rejoin the convoy when the tires replaced. There's never any end to it. Never any end. Two men died yesterday and one today to drown a far fly in a ruddy river. Leighton. Sir? That German uniform you carry, get it out for me quickly. Of course. Give me a hand, will you? What's the plan now, Major? Very simple and very safe. I'll wait till they change the tire, and we'll all go up there and wipe them out. Plant another far fly, and the job will get done tonight. We'll have to kill the driver too, you know. Well, of course. So you're going to put on the German tunic, replace the driver, rejoin the convoy, and drive that truck into the V2 sighter. Mm -hmm. There's no other way. Well, you've finally made your death wish come true. Bertie, I will not tolerate insolence of attempts. Come off it, Major. You're old Bertie himself. Bertie the belted Earl, who sent so many men to their death he can't take it anymore. So you're gonna light a bonfire and go out in a blaze of glory. I so command this unit. Then command it. Turn that light back on again. You can do it, you know. I will not wait another 24 hours. You don't have to. What do you suggest? Start thinking like the birdie of the old days. I'm sure he was smart enough to figure out a way to get ahead of that truck and stop it. Get a firefly aboard without the driver ever being any the wiser. I could do it, and I'm just a bloody colonial. You have a humor, Lieutenant. the others and follow me. We'll bring this thing off yet. Yet, I think. It's far enough from the fueling station not to be heard. A couple of those boulders could easily roll down the embankment. Yes. I think we'll try it here. Handy, you and Kirby deal with the boulders. And not to stop the lorry, but big enough that it takes two men to move. Layton, the uniform. <laughs> also, fahren Sie los, versuchen die Kolonne abzuwischen. Jawohl. Nein, Mann. Na, also runter zum Depot. Holen Sie noch Benzin. Superfeld. Kommt mit. Be position yourselves so you can climb aboard the back of the lorry while the driver and I move these boulders. Here's your firefly. Layton, you give us overall coverage. Das 
Major. Come on out from that truck, sir. Get away, Lieutenant. Clayton, stand in front of the truck with Kirby. Get away! Get out of the way! Move! You're still determined to drive this truck to the V2 site, aren't you? And when you fail, you'll die a legend. That's really what you want, isn't it, Bertie? Stand aside! Stand aside, all of you! I'll run you down! That's just what you're going to have to do. Because Bertie is no legend. He's just a scared man like the rest of us. Only his ghost wants to quit under fire. Layton. Hold this bleeding while I find a tourniquet. Sticks, dump the drum up the truck. Please stop, sir. He's coming to. Get him ready to move before they show up from the fueling station. Come on, sir. Easy now, sir. It's late, sir. We'll get you out, sir. Not a chance. Leave me. Sorry, Major. You've got news for air intelligence. This is a map of the V2 sites. It's worth ten fireflies. What is this nonsense? This is the convoy officer's roadmap with his pencil notes. Now, I don't read German, but isn't B and 2 the same as in English? By Joe. They are the rocket sites. We must get this back to air intelligence. Quickly. Don't bother about me. You still trying to go out with rockets, Major? Yeah, Leighton. Most certainly, sir. Luck with rainbows. Mm -hmm.